Hello, I'm Doug. This is a Measurement 101 page cast. Three minutes talking about a particular web page on this site. In this case, the Measure It All page or Special Relativity and Quaternion Gravity. Now, this page tries to say too much because it's like a three hat affair. So let's try not to get confused. <laughs> we start where we always do which is to say that a quaternion squared equals the interval and space times time. An invariant interval is special relativity. It's the stuff in blue. An invariant space times time is quaternion gravity. It is the stuff in Kelly green. I am the reference observer. Now we've got a pair of stars that go supernova. And I measure the time between those two events, and I say it's 5. I measure the spatial distance between the two, and say it's 3. Now, we square those things, because we're working with quaternions, and we get an interval of 16, and a space times time of 30. And everyone compares their results to me. I am the special relativity Doug in blue. Focus on those walkers and ignore those guys above and below. All the guys who are walking have the same interval as the reference observer of 16. And that is special relativity. I am quaternion gravity Doug in yellow. Focus on the measurements above and below. Ignore the walkers. The folks above and below all have the same space times time value of 30 and agree with that reference observer about that value. And that is the heart of my quaternion gravity proposal. The kids walking don't agree with the kids above and below about like anything. The intervals are different and the space times time is different. But that's okay. What matters is the different agreements the kids make with me, the reference observer. The walkers agree about the interval. That is special relativity. And the kids above and below agree about space times time. That is my quaternion gravity proposal. And that's it for this page cast. Thank you.